Hi, this is Maggie Carr from Maggie vs. Evil Dead. You can look it up on YouTube and God have mercy on your soul because you're about to listen to Sean on Horribly Awkward Podcast. Hey, what's up? This is Sissy Jones from Firewatch. I'm Delilah. I hate to tell you guys, but the rumors are not true. Sean is not horribly awkward. You've all been terribly misled. Hey, y'all, this is Lou Temple. You know me as Axel on The Walking Dead. And soon is Psycho Head, Rob Zombie's new movie, soon to be released, 31. And you're listening to the Horribly Awkward Podcast. Keep tuning in. Follow me. Hey, this is Dragonfly from Pure Gasmic Love. And you are listening to the Horribly Awkward Podcast. It's time to get awkward. Horribly awkward improv action. Rob. I'm totally bored right now. And Alex won't even let us touch her stuff. But I really want to go touch that camera over there in the phone with the nice lens on it. Then do it, man. No balls. No, no, she gets really mad when you touch her stuff, though. So? She ain't here right now. Okay, you go do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to go talk to Alice. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, nothing. I'm going to go, hey, nothing. hey, Rob, I'm going to go check. I'm going to go talk to her in the doorway. And you go ahead and you go look through it. Look at the neighbor's spine. I'm good. All right, all right, Alex, all right. what's up? Not a lot. How did you guys get into my living room? Oh, uh, your brother let us in. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Sweetie pie, where is he? Is he around? I don't. Eh, he just said. I think he went down to the basement or something. Rob, just go look to the camera. <laughs> That's sorry. Yeah. Oh. yeah I, he just told us to come in. He said, "Don't touch your stuff." It's he your told you correctly. So what do you? What? What is? <laughs> um. Hold on a second. I'll go turn this music off. Hey, do you see anything cool, Rob? Is somebody look like they're dragging something off over there? I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, keep watching. So, what do you got cooking, Alex? Oh, God, you mean for tonight? Yeah. Um, I was gonna watch Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces if you guys want to do that. Oh, Sean, Sean. Yeah, what's up? It, it looks like they're dragging a fucking body over there across the way, man. A body? Oh, yeah, it's body shaped. I don't think it can be a trunk full of damn. <laughs> Sex, sex toys or something. I don't Why know. do you guys keep whispering to each other? Alex, okay, we. Because I'm nervous. Uh, yeah, you told <laughs> us not to touch your stuff, and uh, I'm sorry. I told Rob to go play with your camera to watch your neighbor because you had it pointing out the window at your neighbor, and Rob says there might be a body being dragged. Huh? No, seriously, you're, act, you're acting like you're very unamused, and what, what I'm saying is real. But, well, I'm not, not. I mean, I've known my neighbor for a while now. I don't think that. that they're dragging a body. Is that why you guys came over here? Are you like, is this a troll? No. I mean, do you really know your neighbor that well? <laughs> well, I mean, we've been neighbors for a well, You know what? Just give me a camera. Let me see. Let me see this. Okay, okay. here. <laughs> okay. Don't think I'm going to forget you guys touched my fucking camera either. Sh- shit. I'm sorry. Talk about this later. I didn't touch Sean him. Sean made me do it. I didn't touch him, though. All I, right. It doesn't, it don't matter, man. I, I, I told him to do it, but I didn't do it. Fuck. Okay, so it looks like he's just filling in a hole with his little bulldozer thing. But the, I don't nah, see anything weird. He does that nah, all the but, time. But before, I mean, it was like a big bag and had rope around the top. It looked like penis shaped. I don't know. I mean, but it, it was, <laughs> what? It was too big to be a, a penis. penis. It was shape. like. <laughs> Because it had like a thing around the neck and it had a, a big head and it was a sh- slim shaft. Rob, I don't know. Listen yes. to yourself. Wait, Alec, you're saying that it's, it's normal for your neighbor to constantly be filling in holes with his bulldozer? Well, yeah, he hunts. So what they got? So he's so he'll hunt until get him and cook him and then usually just get rid of the, the carcass and the you know just take a hole and bury the carcass I'm, it's good I'm, for the ground or something that's what he said i'm, I'm not understanding this is, is he bringing in that substantial amounts of meats to where he had to get a goddamn bulldozer the big big holes and stuff I don't, I'm not understanding this concept. He's dragging bodies that are penis shaped over there across the way. You didn't see it because I was on the damn camera. <laughs> Listen to yourself. I mean, Body shaped like penises. Rob, there's no way they're. Let me give me that camera. There's no way they're they're penis shaped. I, I I don't see anything. I see black. Hey, oh wait, yeah, see wait. There we go. Oh my god, that's that's totally penis shaped. See, <laughs> that's a little sketchy. Alex, I think you need to. Okay, give me the camera. Give me Possibly the camera. Me. See, Alex, here, here, here. 
Alex doesn't understand because she doesn't have a penis. I know what a penis looks like because I have one. No, that's totally a penis, Rob. See? Yeah. He's a sympathizer. He's a penis body shaped sympathizer. Look at, look at, look at. Alex, you gotta look right over there. There's the two trees. You got the palm tree and then the redwood tree, which is weird right next to each other. What am looking at? What is that? It looks kind of You're right. Shaped. It is kind of penis shaped. See? Huh. I. Wow. See? Well, I this mean. Is... It... It's not an illusion. It's a body. I mean, you could be just burying something that happens to be penis shaped. There's not too many things that's going to be penis shaped, wrapped the way that thing is. Because, I mean. Perhaps he is an amateur sculptor and he is exploring the theme of the male phallus or something. Phallus. And he was dissatisfied <laughs> with that sculpture and now he's. I guess. <laughs> okay, right, I'm right, gonna go over right. and see what this is all about. Okay, skip to 20 minutes later. We're all in his basement in individual cages locked up. Damn it, Rob! Why'd you have to go and just start looking at this dude? Now we're in his cages. <sighs> uh, Sean, just calm down. Calm down. Hold my hand. Reach through the cage and grab my hand. Yeah, Alex, you're skinny enough. Just go right through those bars, please, and go get some keys and come back. Uh, I don't know, guys. I am way too freaked out right now. Like, what am I going to do if one of them catches me? I'm like a, the size of a noodle. I can't do anything. But you're already caught, oh, so you just be getting, the, you just be taking the chance of trying to get away. If you get caught again, you just be back to square one. Yeah, a circle um, of life. I'm or death so in this instance. Guys, why couldn't you just leave my goddamn camera alone? None of us would be here in the first place. Why did you just call the cops? I'm, I'm Why did you have to involve me in this at all? I don't know. I, I took a Xanax. Sean peer pressured me into it. <laughs> and <laughs> see! <Yay>! Woo! <laughs> hey, Normie, give us a horribly awkward. 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 Sean, dude, you're horribly awkward. Sean, I know you think this is weird, but it's not as weird as you think it is, dude. Don't think that it's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Horribly Awkward episode 91. That is 90 more than I ever think I'd ever do. Stick around 91. after the episode.